Good afternoon and welcome to today's session on MSME Buddy for MSME Owners by United SMEs by Mr. Jay Desai and Mr. Vishal Shah, sponsored by Blackbox in a Soft Technologies Private Limited. I am Prasanna, co-host of the event today. Let me introduce today's presenter, Mr. Jay Desai. Jay is an alumnus of IIT Bombay and NIMS Mumbai. He has vast experience working with top electronics and retail brands like HP, Panasonic, LG Electronics, Reliance Retail and Onida, to name a few. He brings in two decades of expertise in business development, business operations, sales, marketing, inventory management, cash flow management, team management, leadership, and team building. Mr. Vishal is CEO and co-founder of Sinosoft Technologies. He is known as seasoned technology stalwart, an inventor of specific patented technologies, a writer, a serial entrepreneur, an investor, and most importantly, a go-to guy for MSMEs. This webinar is meant for MSME owners who have great ideas and lack experienced people to execute them. It is about introducing MSME buddy who can help MSME owners to execute ideas. This webinar is all about United SME's commitment towards bringing knowledge-oriented sessions. This webinar will cover the following topics. Challenges faced by MSME owners running their business. Challenges pertaining to organization development, business development, and digital transformation. How MSME Buddy can help MSME owners to create the organization structure, defining roles and responsibilities, quantify KPI and KRA, develop soft skills, and developing more objective performance appraisal systems. If you have any questions while you watch this demonstration, kindly write in the question and answer tab in the bottom of your Zoom login. The panel will take up the question at the end of the session. Alternatively, in case you want to ask any question in the end of the session, you may please raise your hand and we shall activate your microphone to ask the question. Uh, Vishal sir, can you please take it ahead from here? Yeah, thank you, Prasanna. Hello all, good afternoon. So today we are going to uh, have this session on a very interesting topic and uh, we call it as an MSME buddy. Let me give you a brief background how we came across this idea and uh, what we wanted to cover. Uh, we meet a lot of MSME owners, entrepreneurs during our business, during our business meetings or professional engagements. One thing which we observed that most of the times MSME owners or entrepreneurs are alone at the top. So they most of the times they have some brilliant ideas, they have some great uh, business plan, but many a times they think that their team is short of uh, competence or many a times they think that their team is uh, not matured enough you know, to understand or talk or um, maybe interact with uh, the MSME owner at a frequency. And that is where we came across an idea that why not to buddy the MSME owner. And this buddy is of a profile, we can say an experienced, matured person who can serve as a bouncing board for an MSME. MSME owner can sound the ideas and the buddy can have, can use his own experience and give very good help on execution part of it. So this is what we mean by MSME Buddy, and we would like to see how MSME Buddy can help an MSME owner to realize the vision they have for their organization, to execute their ideas, and to groom their own team so that competence is no longer a bottleneck or a limitation. So before we proceed to the next part, uh, we would like to profile the attendees and we would like to understand, uh, you know, so that we can really adapt this particular session to make it more interesting. So I request Prasanna to launch a poll uh, to understand the attendee profiles. Kindly give us your inputs to this particular poll so we get to know you better.
Yeah, so as we see the results on the screen, 50% uh, of the attendees uh, identify themselves as an MSME owner for whom we have actually designed this particular uh, program. 25% of uh, them are business strategy consultant, another relevant profile. 13% are general managers and 13% are identifying themselves as some other role they're playing in their organization. So we can move to the next part and uh, we can say that, you know, why we need an MSME buddy? What should we expect from MM an MSME buddy? So it could be, as I told, it could be uh, your bouncing board. It could be your uh, idea execution. So I request Jai Desai to uh, tell us more about, you know, why uh, an MSME needs an MSME buddy. Over to you, Jai. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Vishal. And I welcome uh, all the attendees and participants today. So we are going to have, I mean, in the past, we have had some webinars and we have discussed the challenges which are faced by MSME owners and how to, you know, what are the solutions to those challenges and how to grow your business, even in the uh, tough times. So the, the, today we are launching uh, these particular services. Now, uh, uh, how MSME buddy can help or what type of problem uh, he or she can help to solve uh, with the business owners. One is the, the business growth because every business wants to grow and uh, growth is the only permanent thing. So if a business is stagnant, uh, then uh, the business uh, uh, eventually over the years, it will die or the competitors will take over. Another important area which is very, very relevant today is uh, uh, better productivity. So whatever resources we have deployed in the business, uh, one manpower is one of the major resource which we have deployed in the business and productivity of manpower today is the key thing because the costs are increasing continuously and in, uh, also the manpower cost is up. So having how to have a better productivity, it is where one area where MSME buddy can help. Another thing is sharing operational burden with the MSME owners. So it is generally seen that MSME owners are uh, burdened with two major aspects. One is uh, you know running the operation as well as bringing the majority chunk of the business and uh, doing the business development also. So MSME buddy can help in um, uh, organizing the company and having better productivity of the manpower. Then uh, parallel perspective of existing team and resources because uh, you know the team uh, is working hand in glove with the owner day in and day night. There is a third person uh, uh, view is required on the team members' capabilities, their involvement, their learning abilities, as well as their contribution to the organization. So this is one area where MSME buddy will uh, help in a big way. Setting accountable work culture. So this is linked with uh, better productivity. Uh, accountable work culture uh, is required so that every function uh, is contributing equally. Every function is sharing the load and every function is justifying the resources which I deployed on them. So accountable work culture is one area where MSME buddy can help to set up uh, this kind of culture. Shift from people driven business to process driven business. This is a long process for businesses which are old and which have grown over two decades or three decades kind of a thing. And we see a lot of legacy businesses in MSME uh, uh, today. So for these kind of businesses, which are mainly grown through uh, people, mainly grown through the because of the contribution of their old employees. So for them, it is very difficult to transition from uh, people driven to process driven. So this is one area where gradually MSME buddy can uh, uh, help the MSME owners to transit pro to process driven business because process driven business is more su sustainable and expandable. Um, firefighting situation. So um, if, in the day-to-day -day operation, if somebody asks you as an MSME owner, that is your, are your employees uh, working on firefighting more or on a design mode, or uh, they have the design thinking or not, your first response will definitely be, no, no, no. Now we are a well-organized company, but when we get into the day-to-day -day operation and the challenges which an owner uh, comes across on day-to-day -day basis, which is actually supposed to be handled by the team. So in this kind of scenario, uh, firefighting situations to be avoided and process is the solution uh, to that. So MSME buddy will help you to set up those kind of processes. And most importantly, as a cumulative result of all this, better cash flow and ROI. 
so in today's uh, very high uh, you know continuously increasing cost environment uh, cash flow is one element for the business which is very very important so even if your margins are uh, shrinking if your cash flow is better then uh, you can survive the business so uh, can we have a quick poll here to understand uh, what are the major challenges with msme owners yeah, so here I would like to add uh, while uh, people are participating in the poll. Uh, Prasanna, can we launch a poll, please? Yeah. So while, uh, see, uh, what I see is that MSME owners we meet are very, very experienced people, very, very qualified people. They know their business in depth and really uh, uh, they have been very successful. Uh, so they are actually capable of driving growth in their business, uh, getting better productivity, uh, you know, they can uh, have good ROI on their investment also. The only bottleneck or limitation they have is time. You know, all these things never go on their priority list because they are getting consumed, you know, in operations management or business development. And that is where they need a helping hand. And this particular helping hand most of the times is not available from their own internal teams, basically. And when they want somebody external, uh, you know, they have trust issues also if the same person is from the same industry. So it is a kind of a catch, you know, and most of the times MSME owners uh, cannot prioritize these very important goals, you know, uh, because they don't have time. And that is where MSME buddy can really help. So as we see here, 80% of the uh, respondents are saying that business growth is what they expect from MSME buddy. 60% of them want MSME buddy to help them on increased productivity. 40% of them uh, expect that MSME buddy, if MSME buddy can share their operational burden, 40% want to have a parallel perspective of existing team and resource, you know, using MSME buddy's time. 40% wants setting up an accountable work culture. 60%, you know, they want to shift from people-driven business to process-driven business. It's very important when an MSME is on a growth trajectory and want to scale up the business. 40% uh, wants better cash flow and ROI uh, kind of help from MSME buddy. And 60%, you know, uh, they want minimum firefighting and stable operations, uh, maybe peace of mind. Uh, that is where they expect their MSME buddy can help them. So this is this is going in a very interesting direction. Uh, so uh, whatever resources we have at United SMEs, let us understand what kind of organizations can really uh, benefit from this kind of initiative of MSME Buddy. So I request Jay to uh, explain who can be benefited, how we can really make this more relevant for them. Yes, Mr. Vishal. So uh, see, as I said, uh, already established uh, MSME companies, uh, the contract manufacturers, OEM manufacturers, a lot of companies. So India is. Uh, has been a hub of uh, MSMEs for years. So the companies which are already established and now they want a fresh uh, look to their business. So they can definitely uh, de uh, benefit from these programs. Uh, product, uh, and so going into details, the product and uh, product manufacturing and marketing uh, companies. So there are manufacturers of uh, products or there are manufacturers of original design uh, makers and they want to sell their products in the market. There are companies who are manufacturing for some brands, but as well as they have their parallel product portfolio, which they want to send, sell through the same channel in the market and having their own teams. And, uh, uh, and in this way, they want to better utilize their manufacturing capacity. So those kind of companies definitely can help from such program, by benefit from such programs. Uh, service providers. So this very particular segment is very important. So there are a lot of uh, service providing companies uh, in MSME segment and for them one uh, single critical parameter is productivity of their manpower. You know, they want to retain their good performers. They want to also segregate the contributing versus non-contributing members and then there are a lot of things. So the service providers can definitely benefit from that and increase the business efficiency. Uh, retail chain MSME. So nowadays uh, in retail, the scenario is changing. Uh, because of uh, online presence and organized uh, modern detail, 
the uh, the relatively smaller retail stores are uh, realizing that we should have multiple stores because the customers are identifying more with the store chains and all so for having this kind of scalable business they have to have uh, processes and uh, and it is said that retail is all about detailing so retailers can help benefit textile manufacturing companies because textile is uh, one very big uh, industry in india and especially in gujarat it is the hub so uh, textile manufacturing companies who have traditionally worked with uh, uh, unorganized uh, practices and now they are shifting in textile one thing another thing is happening that their second and third generations are entering the business and they are having a different perspective towards business they want to create their own brands and they want to have uh, you know uh, state of the art manufacturing facilities and, and and their teams and all so textile manufacturing companies can definitely help uh, b2b supply and um, uh, job work uh, companies so companies who are doing the corporate business who are supplying not directly to the consumer but supplying to the corporates so these kind of companies uh, can definitely benefit from these programs msme traders uh, in channel business so those who are into the trading business there are importers and uh, selling products in the channel so those kind of uh, uh, business owners can also benefit from this and msme distributor so uh, distribution is one industry which is getting consolidated day by day and uh, this kind of consolidation and the margins are shrinking so distributor distribution industry wants that more uh, uh, data driven distribution can be done and more productive distribution uh, should be done so these kind of companies can also benefit can we have the next poll please yeah so while prasanna is launching the poll uh, i uh, have some inputs here so if i see these uh, uh, these kind of organizations categories of the organizations who can really benefit from uh, this msme buddy program uh, i could see that you know most of the attendees belong to uh, uh, these categories actually uh, if i uh, may uh, you know tell you something you know we recently did a project for a retail chain of msmes and uh, actually we could reduce their inventory holding cost by 30% you know and we did not do any smart thing we just followed the theories and you know tried to you know um, apply them in their own business environment so it's a retail chain of some expensive items and most of the stores in every city they were keeping the same item you know in multiple numbers um, so and of course uh, this kind of uh, practice you know increase their inventory holding and that increase their interest cost and that decrease their profitability so we suggested some communication systems where uh, uh, they could hold single item in single city so let's say if they have five retail stores they can uh, hold one item let's say a, uh, uh, that item costs cost let's say 25 lakhs of rupees a jewelry or a watch expensive watch they keep only one uh, item across the city and whenever customer wants to see in no time they can transport from one retail store to another instead of keeping 25 lakhs inventory in every store so i mean uh, this happens when uh, such things are communicated by the team and such ideas are originating from the team but there has to be someone who can really interact with the team who can really get hands on on the operations most of the times the owners do not have time to look into all these things because they are busy managing the operations or developing the business so this is something very very uh, important uh, we can see this 63% of the respondents belong to an established msme they have their own problems you know uh, of course they have mature teams but they have their own problems we can see uh, we'll see that in the next part of the session uh, 75% belong to product manufacturing and marketing and 25% belong to service providers uh, kind of msmes and 25% belong to b2b supply and job work for msmes so uh i think jay we have very relevant uh, uh, people joining us and it is so interesting so now uh, when we look at the overall scenario how msme buddy you know uh, what kind of objectives one can achieve 
who can benefit why not we uh, now discuss you know uh, what kind of problems an msme buddy helps solve especially in an established business or in a product or manufacturing business or in a channel business uh, i we are anyway going to discuss uh, uh, the case study also uh, but yes we can list down some problems probably they will resonate uh, with all our attendees you know they might have come across such problems you know uh, sometime in your in their own uh, you know tenure uh, in their own entrepreneurial journey so let us let us have uh, some uh, some discussion on what kind of problems an msme buddy can solve and and uh, solving those problems you know can show very tangible results you know so that is very important solving those problems should give very tangible results so over to you jay Yes, Vishal. So, uh, one uh, common uh, problem which we have seen while working with MSMEs is the difference the, uh, between the mindset of an owner and difference between the mindset of a team. Obviously, uh, salary drawing team cannot have vision uh, as an owner or cannot have a long term uh, you know dream for the organization. Cannot have the passion to you know go to any extent to uh, make this organization grow. So uh, somewhere during their working, they fall prey to uh, the market uh, situations or the versions about the market situation that market is down, economy is this, that and all, as well as uh, they tend to become very internal looking working. So they, they look at their own numbers, they look at their own numbers of last year, and then they judge that this much growth can happen or growth cannot happen and also growth mindset is very very one common uh, problem you know uh, across uh, msme companies irrespective of the nature of business uh, is one area where uh, they are struggling a uh, narrow vision versus market based approach uh, whenever we are working with msmes and, and teams and all and it's not that there are a lot of companies who have evolved uh, in terms of having their business plans and all. So there are, there are processes also. But we have found that the vision uh, is more again internal looking or they are looking at what their competitors are doing. They are judging that if my competitor is doing so much, I am doing much better in this kind of market scenario and all. Whereas having an approach based on the market size. So uh, estimating the market size in the in the geography or the segment which they are catering to and based on that market size uh, judging their own uh, business that how much share they are drawing from this particular market and and what is the potential what is the uh, headroom available for growth and all so these kind of uh, uh, problems are very common uh, nowadays with msmes uh, lack of awareness of market trades and expansion so uh, this is one area which is linked with the narrow vision now burdensome legacy and uh, owner driven sell so uh, when you know uh, owners are contributing 50 60 percent to the sales which is coming to the organization that teams uh, definitely you know they are not uh, uh, you know uh, go getters or they are not uh, uh, you know on their toes always to uh, develop some more business develop new customers and all and they want to just get uh, going with the routine okay <clears throat> and uh, their legacy so maybe x years back uh, when the company started and how at what level it has reached so this kind of legacy sets in to the uh, team as well as uh, you know the msme owners that okay there was nothing and we have reached here so now from here so they uh, sometimes they get blank from here uh, at what level we can go and what is the path for that lack of structured uh, approach to business so uh, generally we have found that it is more of a surface scratching kind of working when it comes to the uh, team and uh, owner with their own burden cannot get after the team day in and day out and get that small things and get, get that those things getting done uh, into the details and all so uh, one structured approach is required to the business for each and every team member for each and every market for each and every product segment and a vision is and a roadmap is required for uh, growth so this is a very detailed working which sometimes is not found to be present in a lot of companies one very important part especially 
uh, after covid the the way digitalization has uh, you know uh, prospered and now day in and day out we are uh, seeing newer and newer technologies one important aspect uh, in business which is inevitable is data its analysis and uh, and synthesis so so you have data every company has erp so they are generating the sales data cost data overhead data and all but how much of that data is analyzed and how much of that analysis is synthesized into the further business plan or further business uh, vision and uh, expansion plan and all or day to day activities also should be done with uh, uh, data analysis so this is one very big area where uh, a lot of companies are struggling a uh, limited market coverage by the team so as i said earlier the uh, team is you know comfortable with their daily routine and they don't go out of uh, want to go out of their comfort zone and uh, competition is increasing day by day eating into the share of uh, the organization so uh, limited market the market coverage has to be broadened the approach to the market has to be broadened and a bigger base has to be prepared for a, a future growth so this is one area and lack of accountability driven culture so even if uh, companies which have a uh, process uh, many a times it happens that the decisions or the performance uh, appraisals or the rewards uh, salary increments are done uh, on the basis of perception or you know the uh, the tenure the employee has spent in the organization and all and uh, lack of accountability uh, uh, sinks into the company and we will see in the further course and uh, what service we are launching that accountable work culture is one major aspect today in the business if you want to uh, continue to grow or you if you want to have a sustainable growth so these are the uh, problems which msme buddy will help to uh, solve to a business owner and not limited to that but lot of uh, other things it will help into so uh, and one thing is that setting up a culture uh, for future growth an implementation based or execution based work culture uh, is required for future growth and msme buddy will try to do exactly that so uh, can we have our next poll yeah so by the time uh, prasanna is launching the poll uh, this particular uh, discussion you know uh, leads us to something very important and very um, very very uh, rare observation you know what i feel is that there is always a difference in appetite you know uh, the enterprise owner has unlimited appetite for the growth and his team or her team does not have that kind of appetite reflected you know that is one thing where it is so frustrating situation for an msme owner that he wants to achieve so much uh, but the team is just okay you know um, sometimes even if they want to grow the team in terms of their compensation remuneration team is so complacent you know uh, they actually resist uh, that growth basically so many a times there there is a need of someone you know who can interface between the msme owner and the team and actually translate the organization's aspirations with the team and that comes when there is a well detailed business plan and that business plan is shared with the team and kras and kpas or kpis of the team are actually aligned with their business plan and then there is a fire um, you know everywhere and then the team wants to achieve the same sort of aspirations so this is something where uh, there is a need of an experienced matured person who can actually help msmes as a buddy and actually ignite that appetite among the team so this is something which is very interesting uh, 67% of the people think that you know msme buddy can solve team without growth mindset kind of problem 56% um, you know can expect are expecting that msme buddy can solve narrow vision and executive and of executive team uh, of course appetite problem a uh, lack of team awareness about market trends can also be solved by msme buddy 44% 56% people you know i think that you know there is a burden some legacy and owner driven sales yes there is there is a burden some you know i'll give you my own example uh, at sinersoft when uh, the banking was uh, online you know our very senior most accountant person you know 
was so uh, was so conservative he wanted to use checkbooks and everything you know uh, so sometimes legacies are burdensome uh, 56% of the respondents uh, say that ms everybody can solve the problem of lack of structured approach with business planning this is very important we should know what we are chasing actually numerically numerically uh, 33% you know think that uh, lack of data analytics and decision making can be solved and 44% you know yes they desire accountability driven culture and they want it uh, to happen in their own organization so uh, we are going towards very interesting points so what we have done is we have understood these problems we have understood the uh, nature of the categories of the business and uh, we have identified three programs basically we call them otp dtp and uh, uh, sdp so what do we mean by otp so it could be organization transformation program where msme buddy can uh, you know go with the msme owner and transform the organization in terms of defining roles, responsibilities, KRA, KPI, training, motivation, everything. So the organization transformation program can be one solution and that can be one program MSME buddy can pursue with MSME owner. Another is uh, DTP, which is Digital Transformation Program. See, technology has to be adopted to remain competitive. Okay, And most of the times, MSME owners realize this kind of requirement. Many a times, they identify the software also for themselves. But most of the times, they are unable to spend time on actually configurations of the software or customizations of the software. Uh, and many a times they cannot utilize those software fully. So whatever software owner wants to implement, it could be CRM of his choice, ERP of his choice, MRP of his choice, whatever it is. An MSME buddy can really spend time on uh, discussing the requirements with the provider and discussing uh, the impact of that particular software um, with the team and then making sure that the software is fully utilized. Uh, we normally see MSMEs uh, buy CRMs, but then nobody enters data in CRM. So that money goes wasted and whatever benefit that CRM could have given to that organization are completely lost. So another is digital transformation program. MSME owners can uh, find out what kind of digital transformation they want, what is the choice of software, and uh, uh, somebody can align with them and uh, with the software vendor and with the team. We will see it in details. And the third is sales development program. I always see that MSME owners, because they are so consumed in business development and sales, uh, they are unable to widen their vision. They are unable to identify many opportunities uh, coming across to them. And that is the reason most of the times they are not able to scale up. So if they have capable sales team, if they have efficient and productive sales team, it can really spare their time. It can really spare themselves to think about many other things uh, on, on, on business strategy, on new opportunities, on new expansion, many things. So these are the three programs which we have identified and we are launching with United uh, SMEs and the MSME buddy can help organizations or MSMEs with organization transformation, digital transformation, and sales development. So we want to see these things in detail. So over to you, Jay, if we can uh, elaborate on uh, OTP, DTP, and uh, uh, SDP. Yes, Mr. Vishal. So organization by organization transformation, we mean that earlier we said that we want to have an accountable work culture. So this program will help MSME owners into uh, some few major aspects of business. One is organizing the team. So because uh, the function-wise working of the company, it has to end. And a, a, a cohesive approach or a teamwork kind of an environment uh, uh, has to take over if you want to grow in the, uh, in the future. So in organizing transformation program, MSME buddy will help the MSME owners to set up an accountable work culture. And it has six aspects. The original objective of this program 
is to set up accountable work culture, uh, remove overlap, and understand and help MSME owners understand the distribution of work. And thereby, when there is a growth opportunity, they can take a better decision as the business growth can happen with the same team and same resources, or they want, you know, they need uh, additional team members and additional resources. Because general reaction to an opportunity coming in is that we need to hire more manpower. And most of the time, it is not the case. So basically, this program is about the manpower management. And uh, MSME buddy will simplify this into six easy steps for uh, MSME owners. And this is the coverage and scope of the program. One is creating a simple organization structure. So as we said earlier, every organization has to have a business plan or the vision for next three to five years. So based on that vision, uh, current organization structure, as well as if company is expanding for future, what kind of positions and structure it will require and what will be the reporting of the employees within the organization. Then important thing is setting up roles and responsibilities of the team members for each and every function, majority of the function and uh, communicating to them uh, and documented. So that many a times um, we have observed that uh, 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 MSME owners make a mistake of assigning multiple things to uh, a single employee, okay? And there are overlaps. So when they are asked about the accountability or uh, the task not being finished or the project not accomplished, uh, they get answers from two or three team members that I was busy on this particular thing and that particular thing, that is why this thing remained. So there is one mindset which we have seen in MSME that if multiple functions are assigned to one employee, they get better uh, you know, uh, return to the salary which they are spending on an employee, but it is not the case. So if a particular function is more focused and a detailed roles and responsibilities are charted out for an employee, it will also help employee to focus on their work areas and uh, company can get better extraction of work from them and better productivity. Setting up the key performance indices of the team. So which are called uh, the KPI. So now here we are talking about simply linking the day-to-day -day activities or the focus areas of an employee directly with the focus areas of the organization. So for example, if a product manufacturing company has a good market share and they are selling a good number of, uh, you know, generating good revenue, but they have a problem of collection not happening in time or the money not coming back to the organization in time and they are facing a problem of uh, long-term outstanding in the market, then this particular aspect can be linked not only with the sales team KPI, but also with the accounting team KPI. And there are a lot of details to that, that how it can be linked. So both the functions will work on getting the money faster from the market and in turn have a better cash flow. Okay, so this kind of structured key performance indices for each and every team member can be created and it can be executed with the team. Now, after doing that, what is the next step? Next step is uh, enabling the team members with soft skill training on how to work in the uh, new environment or how to work with this kind of objective roles and responsibilities and key performance indices and very, very focused approach on the parameters which are important to the organization, okay? Another thing is engagement and retention. So while uh, a company wants to retain good performance, uh, a good visionary company, a visionary owner would also want to segregate performance from performers from non-performers, okay? And the parameters, the remuneration cannot be same for both of them. So here, the, having this kind of objective system helps to segregate them and uh, engage the performer. So we will, the, the MSME buddy will also give suggestions and advisory on how to engage, what are the different methods and uh, in which a performer can be uh, engaged within the organization for a long term. And last, uh, development of our objective uh, performance appraisal system. I will go one step ahead to say, that not only annual performance appraisal system, but also the entire salary structure can be converted into a compensation structure and uh, remuneration of team members can be done on a monthly basis of scoring and they, their salaries and incentive can be defined 
so that the, what you are expecting from them in one year it is divided into 12 parts and every month they are evaluated uh, and so so this can be uh, demonstrated so msme body will help to create this kind of structure uh, engage with the employees explain to them how to work with them and uh, monthly basis uh, do the scoring and uh, and demonstrate the execution of uh, this program and how the msme owner can take it ahead so just to add to uh, this particular point you know uh, large enterprises uh, you know hire big force you know uh, for this kind of exercise you know but msmes definitely desire but uh, it is not affordable and sometimes they don't have a visibility what kind of uh, outcome would be there of this entire uh, this entire activity so here what happens number one uh, it is a journey of an organization from person driven um, to process driven you know uh, that is very well done in this organization transformation uh, program um, most of, most importantly in this most importantly in this when the roles and responsibilities are set for the employees you know um, element of entrepreneurship starts kicking in their own uh, decisions basically because when he or she knows that if i perform like this i will be compensated better um, they would become kind of their thinking would be very much entrepreneurial their entrepreneurial instincts would be you know live and another thing is uh, this will help an msme owner to identify uh, and differentiate between talent and no talent many a times what happens when you have conventional traditional appraisal systems uh, very overlapping roles responsibilities or i would say vague uh, definition of roles and responsibilities you know um, no talent escapes or most of the catches and uh, talented is uh, treated um, the same as no talent is treated okay here you can identify who is talented you can identify who can be grown uh, across the organization ladder and uh, that is how uh, you can build a team you know which can um, actually help your you transform from a one man army to a five man army you know uh, so this is something which is very important and this organization transformation program is actually intended towards this now coming to digital transformation program um, uh, most of the times what happens uh, there is always a resistance to change you know um, many a times the uh, software or uh, the technology uh, is basically selected by the organization owner and then uh, he or she mandates that now this is to be implemented and most of the times um, the employees you know they are doing the work in their own way and they are always resistant to that particular change you know there needs somebody who can catalyze this entire process there needs to be someone who can actually uh, create a communication channel between the software vendor who knows the software very well you know and who can help uh, uh, maximize the benefit benefit of the software and that communication has to be channelized with the team so that they also understand the benefit and they understand that this software could ease out their job this software or technology could make them more productive so over to you joy for digital transformation program yes sir vishal so uh, the program objective is very simple and it is to adopt technology to solve the day to day business problems and uh, this can be done in two ways one is the resources part and another is the operation part okay for resources part you have erps and uh, a lot of things available uh, for operation parts we have a lot of uh, crms and other softwares or function based softwares are uh, available so uh, depending on the requirement of the organization uh, uh, a, a software can be selected and implemented within the company potential uh, digitizable processes so uh, when we talk about the operation one very very important aspect for sales is the lead management so today um, 10 years back you know if you are a, a, a product selling company then your team would go to market or maybe dealer distributors or directly the customers and from reference you would get another business today there are tens of the avenues to talk about your company achievements on different different uh, platforms and you don't know where from where the lead will come or from where where an inquiry will come which will turn into a lead 
so organizing all those leads working on them is a, an important aspect for growth of business uh, lead management when we talk is not about operating a software it is about having a culture of working on each and every lead which in which is in hand tracking of its progress follow ups and when the lead is converted or lost then updating it and then decisions to be made on that that why the leads are getting lost and why the leads are getting converted so we why the leads are getting converted will tell you what you are doing right and what you can and that you can multiply in order to generate more business and convert more leads and leads that have been lost but all these things can be organized into one software triggers can receive from the software so if these things are done manually you don't get first of the thing is analysis so, so software will give you an analysis and software will give you triggers reminders for follow ups reminders for closures so so lead management is one area which can be digitalized customer service there are a lot of software is available and lot of customer service providing companies will have must have uh, uh, adopted the crms for uh, tracking the complaints and uh, ma managing the turnaround time allocating the calls to the teams and all so customer service is one area which can be digitalized inventory management so when we talk about erp more often than not we have seen that companies are adopting erp is only for accounting purpose whereas the material management is done sometimes in the uh, uh, manual way uh, reminds me of a case of a textile company who is having um, monthly 3 to 4 lakh meters of uh, or more than that of a business and you know working all india um, it was so surprising that they were managing their account so so when the raw material gets into the company from there it is processed and it is reaching the dispatch stage till the time everything was managed manually once it reaches the dispatch stage the invoices were getting created uh, in in tally and from there uh, they used to manage so only account was managed and this is a live case which we have done with a company and then uh, we have identified one erp for uh, which can you know manage end to end uh, inventory right from raw material to the finished good and implemented in their organization so uh, inventory is a uh, live money is a cash and if you manage your cash well then you can manage your business better so inventory management is one area those who are those companies who are into product selling business so for them it is very very critical to have a, a minute uh, tab on the day to day inventory aging stock because inventory eats into your working capital not only that but it also charges you interest if you are working on a bank cc and and so on and so forth sales management nowadays there are crms available which help you to track your sales team assign them tasks have their ta targets and achievements in the team assign them the customers uh, in the crm and track what visits they are doing what they are doing day to day basis because you know as i said productivity is very very important when it's come to business nowadays so entire sales management can be adopted so their their leave their attendance uh, as well as uh, their expenses everything can be managed through a crm a uh, task management uh, it is this uh, particular segment is evolving lot of companies which are uh, having uh, desk employees as well as field employees added adapting to task management softwares so that there is an accountability the task management software they do one more thing that they give visibility to the top management or to the owner who cannot interact with the down the line employees on day to day basis but at least on the dashboard they can have a visibility of what is the work distribution happening which are the employees which are overloaded which are the employees which are empty uh, having time and then uh, they can you know reallocate the work distribution through their team so task management can help you uh, increase productivity hr management has uh, more adaptability into the msme segment and it can end to end right from your attendance to all the hr aspects can be managed into that recruitment onboarding uh, of the new employee as well as Uh, uh separation uh, process and everything appraisal everything can be done through an hr management software and inbound sales and telecalling module so nowadays it is very costly to send the sell your sales team into the market they spend on the traveling budgets and then they do visits and they travel to the different cities when they come back then we don't know what kind of orders or what kind of business they are generating 
so a lot of companies are adapting to telecalling employees or having a back end team for telecallers so and a particular product way portfolio which is me to product portfolio which doesn't have to be explained in detail on technical aspects this this type of sales is now converting through a telecalling module where the team can call people and you know uh, send the price list and generate the orders but uh, their performance or their uh, productivity has to be tracked in detail so inbound sales and telecalling softwares can uh, give a lot of uh, visibility and data analysis to the owner as, as what the telecalling team is uh, doing and all these um, uh, functions can be digitalized through one or multiple uh, uh, softwares so this i have already explained uh, and what uh, msme body will do here is first step is understanding the business process uh, of the company so only after understanding the business process it can be suggested or which functions can be digitalized first because digitalization is not only buying a software it is changing the uh, work culture so the team who has uh, has to be uh, analyzed and assessed that how much uh, mindset or how much open mindset they have for adopting a new software or a new uh, technology then identification of process for digitalization also may automation so there are various functions and which of the function has to be uh, done first so that their business is not affected while they are adopting the technology and the important part is interfacing between the uh, msme client and the software company which has been identified and uh, informing the software company or explaining the requirement and the uh, business process of the client and uh, having their software or uh, technology customized to the need of the client this will one role which will be performed by msme body uh, coordination uh, helping in implementation of crm erp mrp and hrms so here uh, the msme body will act as a change agent and it will act as a big brother to the team and interface between the because many a time it is seen that the company which has developed the software they are more techy when they when they interact with the employees down the line in the uh, client's team uh so they are very techy in terms of uh, their language and uh, and their approach so uh, so this has to be bridged by msme body and uh, it will be a seamless execution in implementation in the uh, organization and the so, management sorry yeah 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 so yeah i agree uh, uh, msme body can become a very good change agent and uh, he can convince the um uh, team to adopt new things and uh, minimize the resistance yeah so now i think uh, we are seeing many requests from the participants that you know we are uh, uh, three, three to four uh, time so uh, i think we have now limited time so we yeah. want to wrap the session up so uh, i won't take uh, much of the time uh you know we can uh, now joy uh, start with sales development program briefly and then we can uh, discuss the case study and in case you want to brief the sales development program uh, in nutshell and then apply it to the case study it would be great uh, so we will try to uh, you know manage it in the timeline or yes. in case you have to overshoot no problem but uh, other i mean may, there are many participants who have something you know uh, after four so we are already seeing that uh, they are trying to log off so yeah so uh, over to you jay about sales development program yes so uh, sales development program uh, is very self self explanatory uh, as i said uh, from people driven to process driven approach is required and sales development program what msme body will do is to have a market size approach by doing a basic market research for the product or service which are being offered by the uh, msme okay based on that identification of uh, geography gaps and uh, product segment so based on product segment and geography which is ca currently catered by the company and what are the gaps based on that short term and long, long term business plan development will be done uh, so this business plan will be in terms of product segment geographical segments and in detail then uh, dividing this particular business plan uh, into the sales team so that will form the targets of the sales team uh, their targets will be divided into the month and product segments as well as their daily activity will be planned so this daily activities which will become roles and responsibilities of the sales team 
so uh, in one line it can be said that as a sales person uh, is required to go and sell but now, there are a lot of other things a lot of other activities which are required to be done by a sales team and if they are done properly sales will generate automatically so it will be more focused on the activities which are to be done uh, by the sales team uh, uh, daily and their productivity then compensation structure of the sales team to be linked with their uh, objectives so for that uh, creating the krs and kpis of the sales team uh, along with the monthly targets and then uh, executing this particular entire program so explaining them what are the roles and responsibilities uh, what they are supposed to do day to day how much markets they are uh, required to cover uh, what are what should be their travel plans every stage uh, maybe may on a weekly basis or once in 15 days or monthly basis as per the requirement msme body can engage with the sales team and review them and guide for the ne next course of action so this connecting the dots will take the organization on their growth path so this is completely uh, a program which includes strategy as well as uh, execution of the sales strategies so i'll uh, uh, go to the case study uh, for a company which is uh, into the home furnishing segment and uh, it is a 25 year old company uh, just in the last october they have celebrated their 25th anniversary of the company uh they are into the home furnishing segment uh, uh, make uh, manufacturers of uh, window blind and the company is known for continuously innovating products uh, and uh, offering new and new products uh, which can be required uh, which can cater to the need and aspirations of the customer uh the problem statement was that they had a, a very long stagnancy uh, you know which had sunk into the system almost for 3 uh, to 4 years the in a in a line the company did not grow okay so how this uh, uh, case was approached that first understanding the nature of the industry and uh, combination of all the three programs were offered to them as a service so uh, right from business planning to uh, execution with the sales team as well as adopting a software to track the sales team on day to day basis and having krs and kpis in place based on which the sales sales team was Uh, scored on monthly basis and based on their score of 12 months uh, they were uh, awarded or rewarded or penalized uh, in their annual appraisal as well as their monthly salary and incentive were linked with this uh, is a very long and in depth uh, done work done which was done for almost uh, 12 to 13 months and uh, then the results came and the results were uh, very uh, promising that the company has grown Uh, at the end of this financial year 20 to 23 it has grown by 36 percent after a long stagnancy of uh, four years and this year another 25 to 30 percent growth has been planned uh, for them uh, one major achievement this company made was adding 250 plus new customers across india and 11 new cities uh, were uh, you know identified where the company made their presence in the year 20 to 23 compared to the previous year so this was the uh, live case study which i wanted to share with you mr vishal yeah so uh, there are so many case studies uh, and i think we have selected this one because uh, it is manufacturing it is sales it is marketing branding of an established uh, uh, msme uh, organization so uh, what what i see here is this msme buddy can bring a big big uh, change and uh, you know he can help or she can help uh, realize the vision of the msme owner and really help msme owner in getting the things done so uh, this is all about these three services just to add two points to that this kind of services uh, require at least 6 months of engagement of msme buddy to uh, give a good uh, warm up period for an msme buddy to understand the culture of the organization business of the organization competition uh, and many things and second point is you know what could be the cost so as we know that united sme is always um, you know on sharing and caring so um we have these msme buddies you know who uh, have achieved uh, you know something in their career and they want to help msme owners so um, this kind of uh, uh, services like organization transformation program sales development program or digital transformation program or combination
implementation of these programs as as what is needed can cost an msme owner just around uh, 75000 rupees per month you know and in 6 months one can actually see the results coming in and then they can continue and really uh, achieve this kind of uh, uh, this kind of results like 35% growth and profitability and then next milestone they can post it uh, to the msme buddy and msme buddy can start working on it so um, if i uh, talk about the cost it could be hardly um, maybe 1% or 1.5% one of the to uh, turnover you know uh, annual turnover and um, you know that is absolutely negligible but yes this will give a lot of peace of mind to msme owner it will uh, also appease a lot of frustration they feel you know um, because they are not able to get the things done because of the limitations of their own team or resistance from their own team or maybe they are too consumed in firefighting sales development operations management so this is all about uh, these programs, organization development program, uh, transformation program, digital transformation program, sales development program. So uh, we are open to any questions you have, we would be happy to answer them. And meanwhile, you know, um, you can also take a poll. Uh, Prasanna, can we launch the last poll of the session? So Prasanna is the convener of uh, United SME and in case uh, you want to explore this further, you can please uh, connect uh, with her and uh, she will connect you with the right uh, MSME buddy and uh, we can understand the problem and we can help solve that problem or we can understand the objective and help achieve that objective. Yeah, so please take this poll. This is the last poll. And uh, meanwhile, you can also uh, ask your questions. Uh, in case you want to ask the questions, uh, you can raise your hand and uh, Prasanna would uh, definitely turn on the mic and we can discuss. Yeah, so 88% uh, of the respondents think that organization transformation program could be their first priority, 25% for digital transformation program and 63% for sales development program. So I think 88% and of course, if you transform the organization, everything else will improve, right? Because uh, when you train people, when you motivate people. So yes, uh, this was a very good session. Thank you very much, Jay. Uh, in case you have any question, we have one or two minutes to answer your questions or in case you have any questions you want to uh, catch up with us, uh, you know, after this session, you can write it to uh, Prasanna. We will be happy to interact. We want, uh, you know, uh, to, to be helpful, you know, we want to make sure that we are of any help to our entrepreneurs. Yeah, Prasanna, you can conclude in case there is a question, uh, we will take it up. Thank you, Jay, sir. Thank you, Vishal, sir, for such Thank an you. interesting, insightful and interactive session on overall business growth and re redefining the process. On behalf of United SME's team, I thank everyone for attending the session. We hope you have learned and enjoyed the presentation. Please fill the survey form, which you will get at the end of the session to give us your valuable feedback. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you, Vishal Bhai, and thank you all of you.